<clears throat> there we go. Mm. I'm going to hit you with it early. Imposter syndrome. That's what I'm talking about today. Imposter syndrome. And before you, before you start listening to this and think, has Arius gotten to the business of affirming these niggas? No. No. Imposter syndrome is what we're talking about. And why that shit is beneficial to your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Some of them electric lighters. It's funny. What's good, y'all? Look, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm talking about imposter syndrome today. All right, and why the fuck you need that shit? You need some imposter syndrome because otherwise you're gonna be out here flexing like you a thing that you're not. I'm not one who's gonna tell you fake it till you make it. Well, why you gotta fake it at all? Why don't you lean into the fact that you're not real? Lean into that. That's not an insult. That's not an insult. I'm fake about stuff. <clears throat> not the shit I'm talking about on here. This like I don't talk to y'all about the shit I do. Fuck that shit. No. Mm -mm. That's only because I'm, I'm only on here for one thing, anyways. Well, mostly one thing. Imposter syndrome. I bring this up today because in this whole spiritual community, in this collection of people who talk in this spiritual stuff. <laughs> A lot of these motherfuckers, and if you're somebody who's teaching, it's probably you too. A lot of these motherfuckers, more than not, are out here, and they should have listened to their imposter syndrome. They should have listened to that part of themselves that was like, nigga, maybe you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Maybe, maybe it's best if you just fall back and listen for a while, bruh should have listened to that shit should have listened to it and, and this is why they didn't though this is why they didn't it's, and it's fair i understand this is why they didn't because everybody's right because everybody's right you can't be wrong and so there's all you can do is just jump out there and fake it till you make it and you may as well you know as soon as you fake it you made it and that's how these niggas work so that's the issue that's the issue in, in, in leaning into the fact that you could be wrong about some shit you need to accept imposter syndrome. Motherfuckers are quick to say, I do metaphys metaphysics. Pussy or imposters. I mean, it depends on who you ask. If it's a female, then it's okay, they pussy. That's how it goes sometimes. But imposters, look, this is something different, man. This is something different here. Look, check me out. Mm. Mm. Can you see my pimple thing? Can you see it right here? It's hideous, right? See, I'm not beautiful right now. I'm not beautiful. I could hide it. I could, I could, I could fake like you know it's not here. It's here. I hate it. Part of the reason I shaved some of my beard off. Mm -hmm. Anyways, imposter syndrome. Because everybody fakes about something. I'm not saying I'm not trying to be the nigga who has no, no, um, who's throwing stones in a glass house. Everybody fakes about things. But you can't be fake to yourself about the fact that you're faking. You can't be fake to yourself about the fact that you're faking. About the fact that you're doing shit just to get attention. And that you don't even like, like motherfuckers don't even have anything to say, but they feel they have to say something. I swear, niggas is lukewarm at the most out here. Niggas is lukewarm at the most. <sighs> Imposter syndrome. <laughs> Listen to it. Maybe that motherfucker got a point. Maybe that motherfucker got a point, bruh. It's not just simply, oh no, I, I can't listen to the negative things inside of me. Oh no, I have to reject them. They're not real. So are the positive things are real? Why are they real? Because you want them to be real? What? Stop. Maybe that nigga got a point. Just look back. Say, hey, imposter syndrome. What you talking about, bro? What, what, what was that you talking about? Maybe this motherfucker got a point. And he's got a point if y'all are talking, teaching spirituality. If your answer is always, it's both of them. You lukewarm at the most. Niggas lukewarm at the most. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a cup of coffee. It's lukewarm. Fuck out of here. Lukewarm gets sped out. Hell yeah, dude. 
Is that lukewarm coffee? Fuck you talking about niggas is lukewarm coffee. No, you gotta be balanced. That's really what balanced is, cause no. See when motherfuckers say hot and cold and they talk about balance and you try to put yourself in the middle of hot and cold, that means you missed what balance you miss you missed how balance actually works. Because you put yourself below or in between hot and cold. You see, if you don't have to answer both of them, you gotta see how you're the predecessor to the the the, the fact that there's even two things. That was the issue. It wasn't what they, oh, it was just hot and cold, so I'm just going to be lukewarm. I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to be balanced. No, that's not balance. So you're playing a role, bro. You're playing a role. Mm -mm. This is why I don't teach methodology. This is why I do, what, oh, if we do consultations, I teach you methodology. In the boot camp, I go through specific methodology. In general, in my videos and the free stuff I talk about, this is why I don't talk methodology. This is why I'm not giving you practical methodology to do because you niggas don't understand the principles behind the shit. You don't have a, a, a firm epistemology or ontology. And so any methodology I give you is going to be pageantry. Fuck me. Epistemology and ontology. Because some motherfuckers, well, you know, they'll get out here and they'll say, I'm an ontologist. But stop. But stop. Where your epistemology at? Well, you know, I'm, just, I, I'm an ontologist, and this is per, personal preference. And everybody's right, you know, so I, I can't really be wrong. So I don't know what you're, you're trying to cause trouble. Yeah, okay. I feel you. Yeah. Epistemology is what do you know? How do you know that you know the thing? Okay. Ontology is what is. What is there? What is the nature of what is? The two go together to form a foundation for you to build a methodology on top of. If you don't have those two set up and they're not working together, you can't have a, a, an effective methodology. You have, to, you have to have an epistemology and an ontology underlying whatever metaphysics you're talking about. See, just because motherfuckers say I'm a metaphysician, don't make them a metaphysician. They're just out here pontificating and they should have listened to their imposter syndrome. Because that nigga had a point. <sighs> now that toxic positivity shit is out the window. <sighs> mm -mm. <laughs> Imposter syndrome, guys. Imposter syndrome. And I say, I say you need to listen to it, not to be like, ha ha, look at you, fuck you, you're not as cool as Aries, even though you're probably not. It's about the fact that you... you when you actually say you want to you examine the darkness in, in yourself, we're not even going to get into what yourself is. You niggas still ain't ready for that one. When you want to examine the darkness in yourself, it's not about just saying, oh, it's there, I see it's there, because you actually have to do something. Otherwise, nothing changes. It's not just for you to feel more comfortable in your mediocrity. It's to, be, it's to, 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 to move forward, to develop, to unfold, to grow. You're just trying to find a new comfortable I get it. Survival survival mode sucks. Survival mode sucks. But it was in the con. It's in the contract. Right? It's like part of this part. It's the part of the game. I'll say it like that. It's part of the game that that you're gonna have to be in survival mode for a while. Mm. Oh, that was a good one. I was waiting for it. It was just curling around. I'm like, where's it coming? Where's it going? Okay, there we go. Mm. Imposter syndrome. Because these niggas is lukewarm at best. Fuck the people who teach them, okay? Okay, they, they'll come around when they come around. If you actually want to be able to lean into this stuff and and the ideas of uh, uh, ontology and epistemology are confusing for you, one, you're not a metaphysician. You're not a metaphysician, so the things you're talking about is not metaphysics. Metaphysics is a branch of philosophy. So the things you're talking about are not metaphysics. You got to be real with yourself. You got to be real with yourself. Like, what am I saying? What is this stuff that I'm talking? What is this new thing I'm telling people? You know, telling niggas that the DNA is going to be the thing that does this and that? Like, what the fuck out of here? You mad? You mad white folks gave you Jesus, but they gave you DNA too. Fuck you mean? What? Stop. I'm not saying whether or not the thing exists. I'm telling you, it's not the thing in terms of this game, in terms of this matrix. See, people talking about, I want to get out the matrix, or, or motherfuckers love to do the, the holier than thou, oh, look at these niggas in the matrix, ha ha, they're falling for the matrix. Like, no nigga, you in this bitch too. Mm-mm. And you in this bitch don't realize you in it. That's that's the terrible shit. You, you, like a motherfucker who think they got out and didn't get out. 
if it's a game, what console do you play on? Probably the typical console. The typical generic console. <laughs> Bro, console, that might be the preference thing. Really, real shit? Because it's the game. If you're playing the same game, the console, all that really changes is the interface. That's a matter of preference. Well, you can play the same game across consoles. Ugh. Yo, this, 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 see, that's what I'm gonna start talking about. That's what I'm gonna start uh, start branding some of this stuff is. How do you get out of the matrix? That's what niggas love to hear. That's what niggas love to hear. How you get out the matrix? I spend all this time telling motherfuckers how you never left Kansas, but they still want to ask how you get out the matrix. Let's stop. What's up? This place is a prison. Who put you in it then? Back to religion, right? Back to religion. Bus stop. The Anunnaki coming, and when they come, all this shit gonna fall. So the rapture, right? Back to religion again. Back to religion. Oh, you can do a Western science too. Niggas love that. I gotta activate my DNA and get my melanin, some, some um, some water and some sunlight like it's a plant, and I'm gonna be good. Bus stop. Bus stop. Let's stop. So now it's, it's all materialism. Because that's all you do in Western science. Western science is barely scratching the surface of anything outside of materialism. I mean, you're gonna need the you're gonna need the philosophers and some of the psychologists. Because if the psychologist is talking about brain function, it's back to it's, it's more neurology than psychology. Bruh. I'm, I'm... To go within, that's how you get out the matrix. See, but everybody can say that. Anybody can say that. And that's the issue. Anybody can say that. And as soon as they say it, you can't really tell them they're wrong because they're not wrong. They're not wrong, but the devil's in the details. The devil's in the details. That's why you need to listen to that imposter syndrome. Because that motherfucker will save you from being out here looking like a dumbass. Mm-mm. Go within. What is within? I ask, I ask niggas, what is you? Whatever. It, that's the new hot thing to say. I'm going to start saying that to niggas. This niggas going to think I'm cool. No. No. Answer the, a- answer the question. It's not whether it's not a right answer. It's not a right or a wrong answer. It's an honest answer. It's an honest answer. Because you see, it, it's about what you're agreeing to. It's about what you're choosing and how you're choosing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Put, put your console in the chat, bro. Put your console in the chat. <laughs> Commodore 64. Mm mm mm. don't see the difference yet. It's okay. Niggas don't see the change. It's okay. Not supposed to. <laughs> it's not supposed to. But see, it always feels good to be on that little high horse where you just you this person who's outside of everybody else. Oh, don't nobody really get it. I'm, I'm out here on the cutting edge. If niggas only knew about me. But stop. But stop. You trying to feel special again. If you all that, you better be doing something. You better be building something. What you waiting for your ship to come in, boy? Stop that sound like the rapture again. If you ain't the body, if you ain't this thing, if you all this, if you all this light and all this shit, niggas love to say, I'm light, I'm light, I'm light. But what you talking about? Break that down. They're gonna go into Western science. What you talking about? What you talking about? See, when I'm telling you light, the lights in the light of your awareness, I'm using it metaphorically. I mean, I'm making an analogy, the light of your awareness. It's not because I'm talking about photon particles. Fuck out of here. What is the nature of light? Like, like I, I'll say the um, the physical world is a, is a refraction of a reflection. So if we're talking original light, you have the original light, the reflection of that, the, the, the thing that's going to reflect the light. Excuse me. You have the you have the original light, the thing that reflects the light, the reflection of the light, and then the refraction of the reflection. What's a reflection? A fraction. It's like when you see the rainbows, a rainbow off of. Um, the sunlight is refracting off of the uh, water droplets in the atmosphere. Do you see the rainbow? If the light refracts and gives you the, the visible light spectrum. Let's stop. It's simple shit. It's simple shit. But see, that's not saying what you are as a particle or a photon. See, this is what niggas is missing. They still reduce it to Western science and miss the mark. Dumb niggas. Dumb niggas. And I'm talking about you too. <clears throat> we not on teams. 
fuck you be, nigga? <laughs> you not no tease. <laughs> oh shit, I need that your team. See, yeah, yeah. And look, man, this is the whole this look. This, look. Okay, I'm gonna just say this real quick. Once again, imposter syndrome. Maybe that nigga got a point. If you ain't really out here spitting it and all you got to say to motherfuckers is affirmations, something that's gonna feel good to hear, maybe you should sit back and shut up and let the grown folks do this work. Maybe what you best at is some regular job at nine to five. No, ain't no shame if that's what you good at. You know, that's what you good at. Don't be out here trying to sell motherfuckers some shit you can't really do. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Maybe that nigga got a point. Fuck. Because this is gonna happen to the spiritual community if you if, if nobody checks this shit. All right, if nobody checks the shit, and and nobody's ever wrong and everybody's right, it's going to dissolve itself. It's untenable. It's going to dissolve itself. Let's say somebody five years from now, right? Somebody comes in, just brand new to some spiritual shit. Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 here, here's some information. Here's some information. Here's some information. Here's some information. Oh, well, how do I tell what's what? Just feel it. Everybody's right. No one's going to learn anything, which is what's going on now. Niggas ain't learning nothing except the new thing to say that's affirmational, that feels good. Hey, really, uh, it's all about the all, and the all is void, so we're all void. Check. Check. Fire. Facts. But it doesn't mean anything. It's not incorrect, but it doesn't mean anything. Fuck. That's what I'm saying. Niggas like that need to sit down for a while. It's okay to go back in the stands and be impressed with the motherfuckers who really doing some work. See, look, nigga like me, nigga like me, I'm not in the stands, okay? I'm out here on this track. I'm out here on these laps, right? Nigga like you, you probably nigga change the tires on the car. You know, probably nigga wipe the windshield off. You know, make sure ain't nothing on the track when I need to roll by. Maybe you the nigga with the flag. Maybe you the nigga with the flag. See, I ain't gonna tell you you nigga in the stands. I'm gonna give you a little bit more than that. I'm gonna say, nah, you ain't nigga in the stands. You a nigga on the side doing some work. But you ain't running this race. You ain't running this race. Uh uh-uh. uh. You ain't running this race. Y'all niggas ain't really about this shit. Y'all talk this spooky shit. But what you wanna do. Let's have a happy human life and that be the end of it. That's what you want to do. Happy human life and that's all I really needed at the end of the day. I'm not going to be honest about that. I'm not human. <laughs> Look at me. Wait till Larry sees this. I'm not human. <laughs> nah. You don't, you're not fooling nobody. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. See, you got work to do. That's the thing. So you ain't here to run the right, but you got work to do. I can't, I ain't, ain't going to just make you feel good and tell you that you understands, no sir. Because then you're going to think it's cool for you to just stop and have a corn dog. Nah, nigga. You got work to do. You got work to do. You got to be about what the fuck you saying. Hell no. And look, it's not the shit on niggas because they a pit stop, nigga. The pit stop nigga keep the race going. You know, shit be, shit be moving. You know, that nigga out here, he running 15 laps. He gonna need a new set of tires real quick, now. Nah? Come on, where you gonna get that? Really gonna stop and put on his own tires? He the nigga that's running the race. See, it's not an insult, but it's talking about the dynamics, the nature of a thing, the relationship between the thing. See, just cause you down there on the track and a nigga in the stands is impressed with that don't mean you're doing the impressive thing. See, they didn't come to watch the nigga change tires. So it's an important job. You know, that nigga got to wave the flag every race. They got to have a nigga who waved the flag, but motherfuckers who put their asses in them seats don't pay to see the nigga wave the flag. You got to be real with yourself if you're not out here running this race. Niggas is lukewarm at best. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Lukewarm at best. What do I mean lukewarm? It's mean you ain't chose, you don't choose a side. It's always, oh, both of them are correct. Both answers are right. Oh, really? It's both of them. Well, nobody's really wrong and nobody's really right. It's just whatever you feel. No, no, don't, don't say feel. You gotta say, you gotta make it spiritual. Whatever resonates with you. 
What does that mean? What's that mean? How you know when something resonates? You feel it, huh? You feel it. You can just say what you feel then, right? But no. No. Well, you got to lie to yourself. You got to sprinkle that spirituality on your own bullshit so you'll eat it. Yeah, I know. I get it. Because it's not like I don't do it. I know. This is why I'm telling you I can do it. I'm a mess. I'm telling niggas that. No, I don't believe me. I look up to Eric. Eric's secretly cool, man. He's secretly cool than I can ever be. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. No, I'm a fucking mess. But no, it's okay. It's okay. Whatever. <laughs> so you need the pit crew, bruh. It's just got the pit crew can't be sitting there acting like they're the niggas that's running the race, though. That's going to fuck up the race. That's going to fuck up the race. So some of these motherfuckers should have checked with that, with that uh, what's it called, um, imposter syndrome. Because maybe that little motherfucker had a point. That voice in the back of your head telling you, hey, man, you ain't really cut out for this shit, bro. Bro, you don't really know what you're talking about. Bro, you, you, can't, you can't substantiate none of this. You're just saying this stuff because it feel good. Should have listened to the nigga. Maybe he had a point. It feels real good to be the next nigga doing the, 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 the spiritual affirmations. Oh, yeah, I'm a motivational speaker. Nigga, you write speeches? No, you just get out there and start affirming niggas, right? Y'all can do it. Don't you know? Don't you realize you have the light within you and you, and the, you are the light? If you just knew that, everything in your life would change. See, what you got to do today, look in the mirror and say, I am the light. Done. Done. Nigga gave it, gave a nigga a little practical methodology, a little affirmation. Done. Done. Niggas going to run for it because that's all they came for. Niggas is trying to fill this, the space that religion left. Well, I'm not religious no more, but you miss it, bud. No, I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I don't miss Jesus. But you miss getting together, doing that dance with them folk because that's the only reason you went. When you really go for Jesus, you went for the community. You went for the feeling, the affirmation to help get you through the week. If you had to actually be accountable to your God, do you know how much you would hate your God? Let's stop. Jesus, you can do whatever the fuck you want to. You still doing whatever the fuck you want to because you always been just doing whatever the fuck you want to, acting like somebody stopped you from doing what you want to do. Let's stop. Mm-mm. imposter syndrome maybe that nigga had a point you gotta be real with yourself niggas ain't spitting metaphysics they love to say metaphysics as a sound good to hear when that shit tickle a bitch's ear nigga like oh 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 what 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 what, what? hell yeah everybody wants to hear everybody want to be that shit but you can't cause you don't know cause you don't know I mean you can go and know but you gotta you gotta admit to yourself you don't know or you just gonna sit around affirming people claiming that that's what spirituality was. So you niggas was bad Christians, man. What do I mean by that? You think you think I'm thinking just the just the whole your idea of what worshiping something is, but you still worship things. <laughs> your idea of what they, the, the visual image you get of worship, somebody praying to some god out there. You niggas do that. It's the universe some universe out there oh it really is within me okay what's within you then well cells and melanin so then what you is is the body dumb dumb and don't just tell me the astral realm is within because then you're gonna have to tell me how the dynamics of that shit work niggas love to say astral realm while you say astral realm niggas is listening niggas ears peak up when you say astral didn't niggas say astral realm what's he talking about what's, the, what's going on fuck out of here man Fuck out of here. Niggas is typical. But see, that's the kind of motherfuckers who are putting on the tires. They're the typical motherfuckers. And you gotta you gotta call yourself out when you're being typical. Otherwise, you're not gonna get by it. This is why imposter syndrome is a cool nigga. Listen to what the, this motherfucker might have a point. Okay, he's a hater. Okay, he talks shit. But does he have a point? Maybe this motherfucker's a hater and talks shit because that's his nature fuck out of here you don't get mad at a dog for doing dog shit what you gonna get mad at a hater for doing hater ass shit nigga did that nigga have a point that's the issue did that motherfucker have a point I'm talking and not smoking my shit keep going out see me i don't go out here trying to tell niggas i can fix cars i know niggas that can fix. I, I, i'm not good at that i'm not good at that i'm not but what I could do is get on here and say, hey guys, if you want to fix your car, just get on, just get out here and try it. 
You know, try it today. You can do it. We can all do it. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. I have no. I, what, 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 am I, what am I substantiating that with? Get the fuck out of here. I don't know shit about. I don't. Well, I know, okay, I know a little bit about sports. I'll say this. I don't keep up with sports. That's what I'll say. I don't keep up with sports. And so a dude like, you know how dudes will be standing awkwardly somewhere, you know, quiet, or they're, 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 they're friends of a friend or something like that. What's the, what's the typical conversation they hit you with? Sports. I feel bad for him because I'm like, I don't keep up. I mean, I'll listen, you know, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to act like no, I'm, I'm the next ESPN nigga. Not at all, bro. Not at all. <laughs> not at all, bro. <laughs> Eric, someone gave you a couple hundred emojis. Yeah, I see them flying everywhere, man. One hundred check facts. I need to start. I need to start asking questions, nigga. Get if you understand what the fuck I said, one hundred percent, you should be able to read it back to me. But stop. But stop. Feels over real. That shit. It should feel good to hit that hundred. Hit that hundred emoji. Facts check. See, niggas, the niggas, the demoted facts to a strong feeling. To a feeling you want to have. What stop? Facts. 100. 100% of what? 100% of what? What stop? <clears throat> See, anybody, that's what I'm saying. It's easy to do that. People want something that's easy. They want something that's easy. That's why, you know, it, it's easy to just tell everybody that they're liked. It's easy to tell everybody that, hey, your DNA is going to upgrade. You know, you just got to do this. Whether or not it's it's meditate with this, with this kundalini yoga meditation or it's eat your spirulina and sea moss, your DNA is going to upgrade and the melanin is going to activate. That's easy to say. It's even easier when you don't have to substantiate anything, when you don't have to have any facts to back that up. You can say, oh, go watch this person. Oh, go, uh, uh, do, do your research. <laughs> I love when niggas do that. Do your research. I remember one time in the comments in this motherfucker, uh, who was it? Omnistrong. I'm in the Omnistrong's comments, bro. I said something about melanin. And somebody else jumped in the comments. And first of all, he insulted my intelligence immediately. Which that's how you know this nigga's off. He insulted my intelligence immediately. Uh, next thing he did was all you have to do is Google what black is, and you'll see that black's not a color. And I was like, I know that's wrong for a fact. I don't even be using Google like that, but I actually went to Google to look it up. So that's right there at the beginning. It's color. It's a color. It's, it, it contains all the other colors. Fuck out of here. And, I'm, I, and, I, and I'm, I, I was going to reply, but I was like, this nigga told me I could go look it up in Google. And he clearly has never looked it up in Google. See, this is what you got right now when everybody's right. Nobody is right. Nobody can be right. And so it's going to die. It's going to die. This is why niggas who change tires should not be behind the wheel of the car. Imposter syndrome. Maybe you should have listened to that nigga. Maybe you should have listened to that nigga. Maybe you should have gone back to, maybe you worked at Walmart in the tire section, nigga. And tires was your thing. But you out here trying to be a spiritual teacher, telling niggas you a metaphysician, and all you doing is affirming motherfuckers and telling them what somebody else found out. That you ain't even go check. Fuck out of here. Imposter syndrome. You should have listened to that nigga. Now motherfuckers out here want to fake it till you make it. That's some wish fulfillment shit. Niggas is only doing spirituality for wish fulfillment. For motivation and wish fulfillment. And that's not what this shit is. That's not what this shit is. Motherfuckers are only here... To, to, to feel good about help them get through the week. That's why so many of these people are, are, are stuck on giving motivation and affirmation. Tell them motherfuckers the next thing that's going to make them feel good. Or well, feel real good to hear somebody say, hey man, your melanin going to activate. Make sure you hit the sun at this new blue moon. What? I mean, it, it, it sounds easy. I don't really have to do much work. And I win? Oh yeah, I love this. Oh, tell me this new thing, how to manifest this and that. Oh yeah, give me the methodology, man. Give me the methodology. No, I want to learn. I want to know how it works. Chill out, man. I, I, look, everybody's right. I already know how it works. Give me the methodology. Bust stop. You niggas is dumb. Don't even believe what you're saying. If that was the case, why would you even ask for methodology? You could just do anything because everybody's right, right? No, it's wrong. And see, everybody knows that shit wrong, bruh. 
Niggas know everybody ain't right, but they want to believe something so badly that they can win. They ain't have to do nothing. They can just win. What kind of fucking win is that? And I get it. Survival mode sucks. It does. But there, there, there's no, there was no promise that it wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think anybody came along and, and misled. You know, like, hey, you know, survival mode is gonna be, um, it's gonna be great. You should try rock bottom. People go there every year. No, no. Imposter syndrome. Maybe you should have listened when that motherfucker was in your ear. Maybe you should have listened when that motherfucker was in your ear. And be real with yourself. I'm not saying you can't do shit, but I can tell you what, you're not going to find out what you can do until you, until you stop trying to tell yourself you can do things that you can't do. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Bro, I can't like I can't be a personal trainer. I'm not even getting up to do no shit like that. But if I sit here faking it until I make it, I'm going to waste a lot of time faking it. I'll probably get comfortable faking it which is what a lot of people do, get comfortable faking it. Because look, if you're going to fake it till you make it, how are you supposed to know when you made it? How are you supposed to know? Let me guess, you're just going to feel it? It's just going, oh, I've made it. I know I made it. That's real easy, ain't it? That's real easy. It's about as easy as Jesus. About as easy as Jesus. Fuck out of here. The spiritual community will completely disintegrate because everybody's right which means nobody's right and if nobody's right what the fuck are y'all talking about what the fuck is niggas talking about if, if nobody's right why are we having a conversation you know what does it mean that you out here teaching somebody something and reminding them waking somebody up if everybody's right if everybody's right how come the niggas you, that you say are wrong aren't also right the nigga who worshiping Jesus out there in the aisle, he doing he doing the worm in the aisle. You know when the music playing, he put all his money in the in the play, just put it in there. Take my money. How come that nigga's not wrong? Hmm. How, I mean, how come he's not right? How come he's not right? How come he got to be wrong? See, it, see, niggas know this that ultimately everybody's right ain't a thing. You know it's a thing. You know it's not a thing. But motherfuckers will lie to themselves to feel good about this shit. Because they're only here for motivation and wish fulfillment. Wait a minute, though. Ain't this about lean learning instead of being right? How you gonna How you gonna know when you learn something if you don't know if you if you're not thinking about whether or not you're right or wrong? Let's say okay. Let's say okay. I'm I'm, I'm watch a uh, I'm gonna watch a video on um uh on, on elementary mathematics, right? I'm gonna watch a video on elementary mathematics. I'm not gonna think about being right about nothing. I'm just gonna watch it. And I'm and I'm gonna learn, right? No, you you know you, you have to test whether or not you learned. Just watching it don't mean you learn. This ain't the Matrix. You ain't gonna upload some shit just watching it. Like maybe if you study that one video over and over and over again, you probably get somewhere. Repetition is learning. Well, yeah, you should. Repetition is learning, but it, it it's it is about being right and wrong because being right has value. Being right has value. You don't spend your life doing things that have no value. Being right has value. And you can't just give it to everyone because then it has no value. Oh, no. Ugh. I remember Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What them aliens land? It was like maybe the uh maybe the second or third book. Them aliens landed on a planet. And they were, these, these were the rejects of the whole society. You know, it's just like the people who clean phones and hairdressers and shit like that. <laughs> and so they landed on a planet. <laughs> it was basically, uh, spoiler alert, it was basically Earth millions of years before humans. Because uh, these niggas had gone through time accidentally. But they got on the planet, right? They're trying to build their society. And these niggas like, we need money. What are we going to make money? Well, There's got to be something that's easy for us to get because we don't have to work hard for it. And he's like, okay, we're going to make leaves money. It was, a, it was a forested planet. And so now everybody's rich. And because everybody's rich, nobody's rich. Because everybody's right, nobody's right. And if nobody's right, what the fuck are we talking about? 
Why, why the fuck are we having any conversation? Why the fuck is anybody standing up talking anything spiritual if everybody's right? Because you know what? Everybody ain't right. And everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. But I tell you what, it feels good to be right. And if all you got to do to get that good feeling is tell yourself you're right, but stop. But stop. Can I get seconds, master? Please, sir. Mm. They don't eat it up. I get it. So I'm not trying to be holier than thou. I, I don't fuck. I don't like the high road, man. I don't like the heights. Chill out. What if I fall? I got stubby legs. <laughs> fuck that shit, bro. Imposter syndrome. Maybe that nigga had a point. Damn, said elementary. Yeah, elementary mathematics, bro. Try it. Inflation type beast. Hyperinflation of spirituality. <laughs> Yo, okay. I'm not, it, when you said hyperinflation, then I got what you meant by that. No, really, bro. Really, really. The 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 the, the currency is them likes and them fat the uh, the hundred emojis. They're worth nothing now. They're worth nothing. There needs to be losers and winners in the world. There has to be. They define one another. It goes back to what I was saying about niggas is, is lukewarm at best. Niggas is lukewarm at best. Hot and cold. Win or lose right and wrong they define one another it's not because you want to be in the middle and you be balanced they define one another you can't have everybody win because winning is defined by losing fuck (laughs) fuck everybody can't be right because being right is defined by being wrong The, the, the extent of one is the scope of the other they define one another up and down hot and cold They define one another. They give definition to one another. You can't have one without the other. It's impossible. That's there's a reason it's as above, so below. Because what the fuck is it? What the fuck good is an above with no below? It damn well better be as above, so below. What the fuck good is above without below? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out. See, niggas don't think about this stuff imposter syndrome you need to sit your ass down because all motherfuckers is doing is trying to find the new way to make your post go viral from saying some basic typical bullshit with spiritual sprinkles on top fuck out of here look look quantitative easing we ain't got no fed we ain't got no fed to pretend like they doing something Uh uh-uh see look it's it's the fourth industrial revolution you better you better be ready for it <laughs> you better be ready for it qualitative easy you talk control demolition is more like it <laughs> oh, such an easy concept to perceive is it how so what are you talking about what's easy to perceive i'll say it's probably basic elementary even being able to articulate it being able to to understand it in a way where you can make it applicable to things or how your perception that's different that's different see now look if that that feeling you get right now where you say damn i get what he's saying it feels nice it feels nice to have that feeling it really does so that's why i would say check that shit because you're 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 invested not to say you know if you have it at the front of your mind, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie to myself. No, no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. <laughs> but you, you're invested in the outcome. Like the example I like to give is, you know, at one point, uh, I was gonna say in my youth, but it, it extended in way beyond my youth. Probably till I was about, um, probably till I was about, probably about 2021. 20, yeah, yeah. I, I really had to face that fear when I went to Mexico. Anyways, here it is. The fear for most of my, all of my youth and some of my adulthood was I, I was literally afraid of white people. Like white people were terrifying to me. And this is mostly the reason why. Um, as a kid, I learned that when I'm scared of something, I need to learn more about it. Um, when I was scared of the dark, I, I, I was like, fuck it. I got to figure out what's going on in the dark. Like, I'm too scared. I got to know what's going on. So I just got, I started learning about what's going on in the dark. And I was, I'm not scared of the dark. I wasn't scared of the dark anymore. I, uh, I, bugs for a while, bugs. Started learning about bugs when I'm not scared of bugs anymore. 
Um, so coming up, that was my thing. If I'm scared of something, I need to learn about it. White people were the only thing that didn't work with. Everything that I learned made the fear worse. Um, the more I learned about just the history of, of, of what brought me to be the thing that people call black, none of it helped that fear. What helped that fear is when I moved to Mexico and had to deal with white people who were traveling all the time. Like I actually had to, and, and one of the things I learned in Mexico that was interesting was that everybody there is Mexican. Like you take that shit for granted living here in the States. Everybody's from somewhere. It's a, it's a, it's a country of immigrants, so to speak. But like, I can only imagine what it's like to live in a place and everybody is your folks. Like everybody there is Mexican. I know not everybody, literally. Come on now. Plants are green, the sky is blue. Not all the time, not everywhere, but we, we know that's true, okay? Oh, that rhymed a little bit. Uh-oh, bars. Anyways, look, everybody there was Mexican. It was interesting to me. So that helped me, that helped me reshape my ideas. And I had to learn, I had to, I had to really be on the in the trenches with that shit. Because you know, before I could always just avoid it. Uh unless, of course, you know, when it comes to the police, then you can't avoid it at all. But uh, anyways. <clears throat> Whatever you're, whatever you're invested in, in that good feeling, you got to check that shit. You got to check that shit. And so after I got over the fear, you know, whenever I found something that I wanted to see, you know, about white people, oh, 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 look at that. Ah, uh, no, I got to double check because it's too easy to be feeling good about that. You know, somebody just left them hero cookies out here as a little trap, you know, a little, little, uh, what, uh, what is it? Wiley Coyote trap, you know? Little, little shoddy ass trap. I'm here with cookies. Feel good about this stupid shit you heard about white folks. Ooh, yeah, I love that. Gotta look this up, though. Gotta look this up. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. If anybody's looking for the book called Dirt, the, um, I think it's, I think it's the, the, the subtitle is, um, the, the uses and abuses of dirt. No, the, the sociological uses and abuses of dirt. That was a book Panic recommended. Talked about, got into some of the history of Europe and um, their uses and abuses of dirt, or just even what the idea of dirt is. You know, it's 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 um it's interesting. We sell it on the website because I had to I uh, I buy in the books and I put them up there. I mean, you could you can go out there and look for it online. You might be able to find it. <laughs> you might be able to find it. <laughs> Uh, but it's gonna take some work. And this is the thing, though. Look, you motherfuckers, you want to get shit for free? You got to dig in the dirt. You got to dig, not just move something around a little bit and maybe you are gonna find something. You got to dig. If you want to get out here and don't want to pay motherfuckers for shit, you know, you want to. Oh, how can I get this for free? You gonna have to dig. And it's not. It's not because oh, oh, someone's trying to hide something from you. It's that things that are valuable you have to work for. Motherfuckers then reduce the value of correctness. Well, everybody's correct, so you don't have to work for it. So now it means nothing. What the fuck do you got that means something that didn't have to be worked for? Fuck out of here. Niggas will go day to day to work for something and give it meaning. They give you pieces of paper and you and it, you give it meaning. You give it meaning. They'll tell you, they'll tell you themselves is a valuable piece of paper. You motherfuckers out here will shuffle that cotton piece of paper and give it meaning give it value and then tell somebody they shouldn't charge you no bro no ain't nothing out here for free if you think you don't get something for nothing you'd have missed out imposter syndrome bro motherfuckers ain't even real to themselves about how they who they are They're, they they live in the surface of themselves and for somebody who's in the stands that's okay a motherfucker who's in the stands don't need to really know how to track work. But I'll be damned if you're going to say it, you, you at the very least not in the stands, you need to know how that track work. And it's not just simple as saying, oh, the, the start and the finish line are in the same place. So really, the beginning is the end and ultimately I already win. No, no, because you got to go around the track. See, it looks like the start and the finish are in the same place. You got to go around the track to get from one to the next. 
That's how it works. You gotta know how to. You gotta know how the shit work. You can't just come out here and you know you got your hand up, waving to the stands. Hey everybody, I'm down here. I'm not in the stands. <laughs> I know you see me, motherfucker. Get to work. Lean in. Lean in. Figure some shit out. Cause I tell you what, if you really want to be the motherfucker running the race, the best place to learn is on the in, in the fucking pit. It's in the fucking pit. Not in the stand thing. You're just going to jump from the stand to the race car. and You just move like that. But stop. That's too easy. It's too easy. You know it don't work like that. Niggas, see, niggas know it don't work like that. That's why they want this shit out of spirituality. They want to find a place where they can just get something for nothing. Wish fulfillment. That's what niggas do. That's what niggas use Jesus for. That's what niggas use religion for. Wish fulfillment. Motivation and wish fulfillment. They told you Jesus wasn't real. You got mad. You got scared. You ran away. How, how dare you trick me? How dare you have me looking stupid out here? What fuck this thing? I'm telling everybody Jesus ain't real. Okay, cool, wonderful. But what happened? You took you took something from your life, your motivation and your wish fulfillment. So where do you niggas go to get it? Spirituality. And they reduce all this shit to materialist versions of motivation and wish fulfillment. Fuck. Motivation and wish fulfillment. If that's what you pushing, if, if what you saying spiritually can't be tested, can't be tried, if you lukewarm at best, sit the fuck down. Imposter syndrome. You should have listened to that nigga because he had a point. Niggas is lukewarm at best. Hmm. <sighs> lukewarm at best and see I see who you niggas be liking I see who you niggas be liking I see look I scroll over a post and you know right there up under the, under the picture it tells you who you follow that like that picture also nigga I see who shit y'all like I don't give a damn you like my shit I see who the fuck else you like that's an insult don't you get that fucking like out of here I see who else you fucking like man please what do you mean when you say imposter syndrome? That little voice in the back that be like, nigga, you ain't cut out for this. Nigga, you, you, you shouldn't be teaching this. What you talking about, bro? Nigga, hold on. Do you really, you know what you're talking about? I mean, I get the bitches are listening or watching, so you got to do that. But nigga, do you really know what you're talking about? The imposter syndrome, the things that motherfuckers say. Oh, don't listen to that. <clears throat> I'm going to move forward. an imposter change mm. that behavior honesty brutal honesty but how do you see you gotta wanna see, see it you gotta wanna see, see it you gotta wanna see it but how do you see it if you can't you gotta let go of the lie but if you don't know the lie is there you know you always know the lie is there you always see the lie feels good. So we, we numb ourselves to the fact that it's the lie. But you always know the lie is there. We was talking about the other day, we was talking about the condescending thing. And there was a part of you that really enjoys that you, 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 you I'm, I'm living a lavish life. But at the same time, every other part was trying not to put that on the pedestal. And that's the thing. And if you, but it don't, no, 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 see, now you're justifying it. Now you're justifying it. Now you're justifying it because, because the difference between reasoning, reasoning of something and justification for something, reasoning explains the mechanics of it. Justification alleviates your accountability for having done it. Reasoning explains the mechanics. So it explains why you do it. Mm, it how, how it works. Why you did it is part of your is part of the accountability. Justification deals with accountability about whether or not you have to be accountable for the thing that you did, like whether or not the thing you did was wrong or bad or something you shouldn't have done. That's justification. Explanation or reason is talking about how the thing works. You got to want to see the lie. You got to see the phoniness in yourself and not be like. Oh no, I'm I'm really some of this, and I should get credit for this too. Like, like no, you know, you, you have to deal with it in its own thing, as its own thing. 
you can see it. And that's the, the, you have, you got to want to see it. You got like that part of yourself that, that really does enjoy the luxury, the lavishness and knows you here. See that little thing. And what we do is we, in, in, in building up our life for ourselves, we build all these other things around us so that we can look at that and not have to look at this. And so that we can use this as, oh, this is my reason. And we, we set all these things up so we don't have to look at the little thing that's in the middle. And it's that little thing that's running it. You have to want to see it because we build so much of ourselves around the idea that we're not that thing. But you gotta, you gotta want to look at it and not look at it and be like, you know, oh, you ugly, I don't want to see you. But look at it like, I, I want to see what, what, what I am, what the rest of me is. You know, most people are only surface level. They, they, they believe that they drink their own Kool-Aid is how I like to say it. They believe that the, the narrative about themselves that they tell other people. Is the thing that they tell people. And that isn't who you are. It isn't. Not even if you try. You gotta let go of the lie. You gotta let go of the lie. And it's scary and it's terrifying and it hurts and it's uncomfortable. But it's the only way through is through. The only way through is through. And any shortcut you try to take is just gonna make your journey longer. The only way through is through. You gotta wanna see the lie more than you wanna feel comfortable where you're at. Try and destroy what you think you are. Like, that that's most of what I, what I do for myself is anything that I can get rid of, that I can cut off, it's not really me. The things I can't let go, the things that I can't get, get like, that I can't destroy, like my ayahuasca. On the, um, on the second night when I actually had my good, my good ceremony, um, when it started out, I was hunting all these little things that it was trying to hide from me. And I was just getting them. It was wonderful. It was tigerness. It was great. Killing them, grabbing them. I love to watch them try and hide and think they couldn't be seen. It was wonderful. But at the end, you know, what brought me to the main part of my, my ceremony was um, there was one I couldn't, I couldn't catch it. Well, it's not that I couldn't catch it, but it was a part that I wasn't supposed to get rid of. It needs to be there. And what I was supposed to be doing is I was supposed to be teaching it. It's like, don't eat your young, don't eat your kids. But I mean, it's running around looking like food, but this is something you've created. It's something you've built and you need to look at it because it's part of what you are. And you not, not only just need to look at it, but embrace it. Not just, you know, it's like the difference between you at the pool, you know, you tell somebody, hey, I'm at the pool, but you can't really tell them not to, you know, get in the water. But if I say, hey, I'm in the pool, you know, you're wet. You know, it's the difference between standing next to something and embracing it. You know, it's, 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 it may be even a lot of work just to stand next to something, just to acknowledge its presence. But the ultimate, ultimately what you have to do is embrace it. Because it's your thing. It's the thing you've created. You got to want to see that it's there, even if it means terrible, awful things. And it, it's difficult and it's hard and it's not comfortable. And it, 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 that's exactly what it is. But that's why most people don't want to do it. They'll do everything else not to have to do it. But it's necessary for growth. It's necessary. The only way through is through. See? Real life. Real life. Real life. Niggas can't do that. Niggas can't do that. You love that. You love that. Mmm. <sighs> imposter syndrome maybe that nigga had a point and see that's why you don't want to listen to him because maybe that nigga had a point you got motherfuckers out here trying to teach this stuff and they ain't in it they're lukewarm at best they're lukewarm at best motherfuckers out here trying to teach you this teach you that but everybody's right Mm -mm. it's untenable and it's going to destroy the entire spiritual community hey man I'm only one motherfucker I'm, a, I'm, one, I'm only one troll 
what the fuck can I do? But I'm telling you niggas, I'm out here running the race. Stop trying to run the race. Help me put the tires on so we can get this motherfucker cracking. Put some asses in them seats, boy. No, I want to run the race too, but stop. But stop. A point, motherfucker got a couple. What? Oh, so I gotta go back and check these comments. I didn't know you was talking. We mean when they had no other deaths. Man, you be the one putting me on to those videos, man. What videos are you talking about, uh, Gerson? What videos are you talking about? Move forward from where? At the end of the day. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about in these comments. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, what is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is that little voice, bro. That motherfuckers who want to fake it until you make it will tell you. See, that's what motherfuckers got for you is motivation and affirmation. That's why their methodology is shit. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. I was about to hop on and inbox you. Your ass on here live. Hey, man, I'm out here. I'm out here doing the thing, bro. I'm out here talking to motherfuckers, man. Some motherfuckers. Some motherfuckers is too good to talk with the riff raff. Me, I fuck with the low road. <laughs> I keep terrible individuals on the crew. <laughs> All of my niggas are dirty. <laughs> I love it. Yo, man, fuck the high road, bro. When you, you fuck on the high road, bro, you know how that nose in the air feeling yourself. And that's niggas' problem. They're impressed with themselves. They're impressed with the thing that they've become. They saw him, oh, I, I'm not a Christian. I'm not religious. <laughs> I don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> I've got a sage stick. I ate my spirulina. Hmm. Niggas are impressed with themselves. I, I've, I've, I've read seven of this, seven of these occult books. You know, uh, I can I can tell you the name of this this diagram. And have you looked at this seal? Have you looked at this seal? Nah, fuck these. What? Niggas are impressed with themselves. You gotta be real with, where are you impressed with yourself? What? Come on now. Yeah, I'm not saying it <clears throat> because you should never be impressed with yourself. <clears throat> I'm an impressive motherfucker. So I'll be impressed with myself where it's appropriate. Like I said, I don't, I don't fix cars. I don't know shit about cars. I don't know shit about cars. So I'm not gonna act like I'm impressive when it comes to, when I'm up under the hood. I can change the oil. If, it, if your car is a little weird, it'll take me a while to figure it out. But I can change the oil. I can change the tire. I know where the alternator is. I know what the radiator is. I could probably change the battery. You know, give you a jump. To somebody who knows absolutely nothing about cars, that might seem impressive. Me, I know that's ridiculous. That's terrible. It's a damn shame I even, I, should, I shouldn't even be allowed to drive a car I, because I know so little about cars. But hey, everybody's right, you know? Freedom and shit. <clears throat> Freedom isn't free. But, who was I talking about that for? I don't remember. <clears throat> uh, imposter syndrome. Maybe that nigga had a point. All this toxic positivity ain't gonna do it for you. Maybe that nigga had a point. Maybe that nigga had a point. You wanna, you wanna see, you wanna look into the dark parts of yourself. You gotta be willing to see whatever the fuck is there. You gotta be open to it. It's, a little, it's, like, it's like a box. That anything that you want to find, you open up the box, it's going to be in the box. But if you want to know the inside of that box, you got to let go of what you want to be in the box. Otherwise, it's just going to be whatever you wanted it to be. But what does the race, what does this race entail? If I want to be about it more than wish fulfillment, what does it require? <clears throat> Leaning in. Letting go of, of being about spirituality so you can get wishes fulfilled or just using it as something to motivate you. Use it to, like I always say, what is you? What is you? That's what spirituality is to figure out. Know thyself. That's what spirituality is for. When we're talking about go within, you know, niggas want to niggas want to sit out here, you know, pretend like they're metaphysicians and just say whatever, say whatever everybody else is saying because everybody's right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's what the spirituality is for. It's to point you in the direction. Because it used to be, you know, in the religions, they would tell you the story that you need to know that was going to explain the whole framework. And you spend your life learning the story. And then once you, gave, once you came of age, you were initiated into the order. 
you know, you've done the proper things to, to do what you're supposed to do to make sure you can pass it on. You were taught the 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 stuff like that they tell you in the in the upper room. The upper room. <laughs> I love that shit. The upper room type shit. You tell you about the upper room type shit. But it, it the story is the framework. But see, this is the thing, motherfuckers have rejected all the frameworks. And they be because they rejected all the frameworks and they didn't even know what the fuck they threw the, they threw the baby out with the baby out with the bathwater, because they didn't know what they're throwing out, they have no idea what they're supposed to do. So what do they do? What they've always done with new clothes on it. They start treating all these guys just like they treated Jesus. I give thanks to this God, I give thanks to that God. It's give thanks Thursday, guys. I see motherfuckers do this shit. I see who you niggas be liking. I see the I see who post y'all niggas like. You think I can't see that shit? Instagram, let me know. Instagram will snitch. Instagram will snitch. I, I see who y'all post, who y'all be liking. Because you like that, and then you like my post, the fact that you like my post is an insult. Fuck out of here. I don't like my shit and that. The fuck you talking about? The imposter syndrome. Just because you say metaphysics don't make you a metaphysician. Just because you say ontology don't make you a metaphysician. If you don't know how to pair an ontology with an epistemology to give rise to methodology, you're not a metaphysician. That's basic shit. That's basic shit. Motherfuckers are here to feel good. Get in here and try to find the shit that's gonna make you not feel good, Gerson. That's what I'm saying, lean in. Go looking for the shit that's not gonna make you feel good. Now see, this is what I always tell people. When you start to you start to deal with the darkness, you start to go into the darkness, you will find three classes of things. The first class of things are things that you are running from. That's the first thing you're going to encounter when you start to deal with the darkness are things that you are running from. The second class of things are things that are running from you. Things that they the, the, things in you that know that if you are to whenever you look at them, you reject them. You would cast them out if you knew they were. They're stowaways in your in your 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 conception of yourself, your personality, your psyche. They're stowaways because the light of your awareness shining on them, they're gonna get kicked out. They're gonna get rejected. They're gonna get they're gonna get destroyed. That's the second class of thing you find in the darkness. The third class of thing you find are things that are just sitting there, like a lamp sitting on a table in a dark room. It's not running from you. It's not it's not running after you. It's there, but it's, its presence in the room has an effect, all right? This is, those are the three classes of things you're going to find when you go into the darkness, all right? And look, that's just the door. Like, all that shit is personality shit. That's shadow work shit, bruh. That's shadow work stuff. That's all human level stuff. Niggas will spend their whole life on that. That's human level stuff. That's all shadow work stuff, personality stuff. And it's not, I'm not saying that to dismiss it to say you don't need to do it, but it's its only at the level of human personality. It's, it hasn't even opened up what this shit is supposed to be for. The go within. Because see, once you get that human personality shit out the way, the, the door to go within becomes obvious. Because all that shit is like dirt on your glasses. Ugh. An example. Give me an example. Example of what? Maybe the three. Look, look like like something that you're running, you'll be running from. All right, the first class of things. Something that you'll be running from. Um, let's say uh, you uh, you got a you got a, a, a shirt that that you know is uh, it don't fit right. You know, and uh, you don't want nobody to really see, so you wear it a certain way, so it kind of look good if they look at it from a certain angle, right? You're running away from the idea of somebody looking at that, calling you out for it, laughing at you, ridiculing you. So a thing you're running away from is, is that judgment, the, the, the ridicule. I'm going to say, I hate, I, hate to, I hate to reduce these things just to, to, to human personality stuff. But I mean, that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. Ew, ew. That's what I got to do. Okay, never mind. No, look, that's something you're running away from. It's something you're... You're, it's a place where you're lying to yourself to make yourself appear some way. And then not only that, but actually believing your own lie. That's a terrible shit. So you're running away from the, you're running away from that. But something that will be running away from you. Um, the degree to which uh, you, um, let's say, let's say uh, you, uh, 
your your manager at work and um you always have to give people bad news but <clears throat> you kind of like it because you, it, it makes you feel uh you know superior but you put on the act like you know I don't I don't really do that and you 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 build the lie up for yourself so you, you believe it all right that thing that you that's running from you is the reality that you really love that shit and like I said you always you can always see the lie the lie can't hide. The lie has to be really good. That's what it does. The lie don't hide. A lie, lie got to be out there in the open, you know. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's not a lie. It's just a secret. The lie got to be out there in the open. You can always spot the lie, but you got to be looking for it. And when you're not looking to see that terrible shit about yourself, it's just it's gonna stay right over there in your blind spot. That's it. That's it. And look, something that just be sitting there. <clears throat> this is the example I give. Um, one time on a, a, a shroom a shroom trip, uh, I, I I found a part of myself that was an infant, um, and he was he was livid. I mean, livid is the, the best word to describe it. He was livid. He was pissed that he could not just eat and shit and sleep. He was so mad. He was just like, he was just by himself crying, screaming. And he wasn't even mad about being by himself. He was mad that he couldn't just do whatever he wanted. The, the only three things he wanted to do. And I could, and once I found it, you know, cause at first, at first, you know, I'm just chilling, you know, enjoying the trip, but it was like a, it was like, I could hear a little noise. I'm like, what, what the fuck is that? And so when I go in to look at it, cause he, once you're, once you're accustomed with the, with the go within and you know how to look away from the physical world, go within is easy. It's, it's like, there's nowhere to go. It's only one. It's all one thing. Niggas love to say it's all one thing. All is mine. It's all one thing. There's nowhere to go. But you gotta, you gotta know how, what direction to look in. Anyways, anyways. And so I could hear it. So I, I go, I go to find it. I go looking in, in there. And I'm like, and I find this, this baby just in this emptiness, crying. You know. And so yeah, and I gave him to the other little niggas. You know, the other dead versions of myself, whatever. Um, I mean, I, I, I still fuck with it. I can still see it. He don't, he don't cry like that no more. Um, but it's, it, it's, it's presence has an impact on how my personality shapes itself, more especially if I'm only living in the surface of it. Okay, so that's the third class of thing where it's just, it's there. It's not running from you. You're not running from it. But its presence has an effect on the whole thing. Okay. Once again, this is all, this is all personality level stuff. This is because what you are, isn't the personality. The personality is an idea of yourself based on the premises that what you are is the physical body. Your personality is the idea of yourself. That's based on the premises that what you are is the physical body. Everyone knows you're not the body. I'm not the body. I'm not the body. It's easy to just say that shit. See niggas is lukewarm at best. Niggas is lukewarm at best. They just push in affirmations. They just push in motivation. They should have listened to that imposter syndrome that said, hey, maybe you don't know what you're talking about. See, look, let's say let's say you want to get your plumbing taken care of, right? Your, your, your bath fucked up and a nigga who come to fix your shit is a nigga who did not listen to his imposter syndrome. What's going to happen to your pipes? Is that what you want for yourself? Is that what you want for your pipes? No. So why the fuck would you do it for yourself? Why the fuck would you do it with your life? Listen to imposter syndrome. Maybe that nigga got a point. Maybe you don't know what you're talking about. Maybe it will be best to sit down for a while and figure that shit out. Like really, really figure that shit out. Maybe you don't know as good as you think you know. It feel real good to think you know. It feel real good. Mm, delicious hero cookies. But I'm telling you, you, imposter syndrome. Maybe that nigga had a point. Maybe that nigga had a point. Every, if everybody's right, nobody's right. If everybody's right, then nobody's right. And if nobody's right, what the fuck are you talking about? Why the fuck even open your mouth about spirituality? If everybody, if you really believed everybody was right, you wouldn't say shit. You wouldn't say shit. But see, you don't really believe everybody's right. There's a group of people you think are, are wrong or incorrect. And you fashion your life around it. Right and wrong define one another. You cannot have one without the other. It's impossible. The scope of one is the extent of the other. You can't have one without the other. See, this is these are basic metaphysical ideas. Motherfuckers say as above, so below. You just want to repeat that shit. There's 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 mechanics to it. 
There's mechanics. It's more than just saying, as above, so below. Oh, if you know, you know, guys. No, that shit is easy to do. It feels good, but it's not the thing. It's fake. But it takes a selfie in the mirror. <laughs> selfie. <laughs> what is you? Oh, no. Oh, no. He saw me took the selfie. <laughs> Fuck that shit. When you say go within, do you mean turn your awareness in a place other than human endeavors? That's a good way to say it. That's a good way to say it. But I'm, I'm literally talking about a direction. Um, ah, I know what this is. Remember in the boot camp, I had you guys watch Flatland. See, I'm giving y'all niggas free jewels right here. I had y'all watch Flatland. Remember the square? There was a literal direction that he could not conceive based upon how his reality was framed. In that 2D world, he could not conceive up. He knew north, south, east, and west. He could move in flatland. But he just, he could not even begin to perceive up because of how his how he shaped his reality. But up most certainly existed. I'm telling niggas up. And they're like, what you mean, north? No. <laughs> he even went down the line land talking shit to the line, talking about, you don't know north, south, east, and west? What you mean you only know back and forth? What you mean you only know back and forth, nigga? You, 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 you uh, you're short-sighted. You don't get it. Uh, you, 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 you're not woke, nigga. You only know back and forth. His ass couldn't, he couldn't even conceive up. He couldn't conceive up. Mm-mm. See, man, when I say, when I say think dimensionally, it's not talking about places. Niggas think dimensions are places. It's a description of scope and extent. Fuck. If, if I say a, a square has two dimensions and I say a, a cube has three, I'm not talking about a place. See, that's easy shit. So motherfuckers just repeat everything anyone else says, just agree. Oh, check, fire, facts. Great job, dude. Great job, dude. Oh, this is great. We're all right. No, niggas don't know what they're talking about. Imposter syndrome. Check that shit check it because maybe that nigga had a point and because niggas refuse to check imposter syndrome and are just here to be correct and feel good and be motivated and get their wishes fulfilled all the spiritual shit is gonna be dead it's gonna dissolve itself it's gonna dissolve itself because it's untenable for everyone to be right because every, if everyone is right then no one's right and then what the fuck are we talking about if no one's right you like how can you have a science where no one's right there are no consistencies, nothing. It's just like, we can at least agree on some basic rules, like how music work. Music has some basic rules. If you just agree on some basic rules, you have an epistemology and an ontology, you can have a steady methodology. But niggas don't know what none of that is. They just say metaphysician, I speak metaphysics and then that's it. No, imposter syndrome. You're not talking metaphysics, you're not talking spirituality. It's motivation and wish fulfillment and it's bullshit. It's motivation and it's wish fulfillment and it's bullshit. You could have done that with Jesus. You could have done those things with Jesus. Motivation and wish fulfillment. Fuck out of here, man. Mm, imposter syndrome. Niggas are lukewarm at best and it's disgusting. Y'all have a wonderful night. <laughs>